All right, let's check in with Jordan now. Uh, you told us this was going to happen. We were going to have the rain just in time for the weekend. And uh, hey guys, having you trouble. delivered. What's going on? I always want to see us at the like desk this. here. I did <laughs> deliver, uh, and it wasn't me. I'm just the messenger. So let's go to the weather wall, <laughs> talk about what's happening. We had a brief period of intense rain right there in the corner of the uh, uh, Kitsap Peninsula, actually near the Port Townsend area. That is now shifting up towards Arlington and Mount Vernon. We have another batch sitting right over Elliott Bay. That will move through in the next hour or so to your I-5 corridor. So kind of a lot going on. Snow in the mountains. We still have the uh, showers and actually a couple thunderstorms down to the south. There's a look at that batch of moderate to heavy rain near Bremerton right now. That'll work its way into Everett probably within the next 30 minutes. These showers are coming pretty quickly. Uh, out on the coast, we've had some good consistent rainfall along Highway 101. We're also seeing more of that down towards Grays Harbor County. Ocean Shores, Aberdeen here, also all the way down into Toakland. More of that coming into Raymond, so coast is active, actually a little breezy as well. And then the thunderstorms, that's going to be further to the south part of the state. There's Grays River and Weossi PL, as you can see, some of those working its way into the coastal mountain range there. Other than that, up in the Cascades, it's snowfall getting a good amount. In fact, we'll continue to see the snow accumulate overnight tonight. As long as this moisture is coming in, the snow totals will increase. I'm thinking we can maybe see up to a foot, which is good. We'll continue to the shower potential and pattern for tomorrow. Low pressure system still hanging on and we're still seeing some of that active, but it'll be hit and miss, right? You might be cloudy, no rain and then boom rain and then a sun break and then more clouds and then rain and same story. All right, so just a difference in uh, in timing, right? If you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. Temperatures are going to climb, if you want to call it that, into the mid to upper 40s, so we stay a little cooler. That's because the front pushed through. So overnight tonight, notice the showers hanging around. The uh, activity on the coast looks pretty good. We're also seeing the snow up in the mountains, scattered showers for everybody else. Tomorrow morning, this is what I'm thinking. Most of that activity shifts south. We get a brief lull. But then by midday, boom, another batch comes through. All right, so the cloud cover will be persistent. And then the good old fashioned convergence zone could form just east of Tacoma. I mean, it's all depend on the wind direction where we get that quote unquote convergence zone between Seattle and Tacoma. From there, due east. So some of those suburbs could likely see some of those showers linger into the afternoon hours. Everybody else will be drying out by Saturday afternoon. Then overnight into Sunday, some fog could form. We could definitely see some leftover precip under the higher terrain. If you're going to go hiking on Sunday or anything like that, definitely plan to get dripped on here or there. And then we don't really get a bit of a break. I mean, much of the area could get a pause Sunday evening. But then Monday, we're right back in it. Another system keeps the gates open for another system to work its way in for we get rain chances pretty much every single day next week. So how much are we going to get from now till Sunday? Well, maybe a quarter of an inch. I don't think it's going to be too much. I'd say a tenth of an inch, quarter of an inch, best case scenario, half of an inch. That's about it. So it's not a very intense rainfall, but it is still coming in the mountains. That's where we're going to see the precip get hung up and you can see the most activity in your neck of the woods upwards of a foot of snow. Uh, Sunday is going to be the best day to get out and do some activity on the mountains. All right, here's a look at your seven day forecast. We'll be in the 40s tomorrow and Sunday. By next week, we go to about that 50 degree mark. But again, like I said, we're going to keep rain chances every single day through next week. Back to you guys.